Welcome back to Full Phone Bros. We're gonna be working on the E39 M5. Here it is. Car is super filthy on the outside. I haven't washed it in a minute, but we're not gonna be focusing on the outside, more of the inside. So I never did a full detail, so that's what we're about to do. Um, pockets ain't empty, cuz. This one came in the mail, this cannoli hide care. Supposedly, I heard it comes in Rolls Royces and stuff like that. So it's a product of England. I don't know, I'm gonna be testing it on the leather. So that was my main goal. I asked you guys um, what product I could, you know, use for my leather. And pretty much you guys did not say to get this, but I got it. Um, most of everybody was saying, what was it called? Leatherique. That was the thing you guys were um, recommending. And I didn't get it. So I don't know. I'm going to use this and um, compare it to another one that I have. What was it called? Lexol, that's the one. So yeah, we're comparing it maybe to this. We'll see. I'm gonna just, first of all, just try a little patch of leather, see if it damages anything or I don't know if it does any good. So without further ado, I guess let's show you the interior, how it looks. All right, so let's dive right in, give you a quick peek. So I'm not worried about the door panels. They're all like in very good condition. They look literally like new, but some condition it wouldn't hurt. It's mainly like the seat areas. I don't want further cracks. I don't really have any cracks in the leather, but I just have wear and tear. There's a scuff mark right here. I think this was from the auction when I got it. Obviously the conditioner is not gonna fix it, but just in general, I wanted to soften up the leather and then like this area right here. So what I might do is just like take some before and after pictures and at the end, just give you my old, like I guess, honest review or something like that to see if I like this product or not. And I guess comp compare it to the Lexol. So here's where the most of the wear is. Again, it's just from the dye on the black leather. It's not even really cracks, it's just wear and tear. The bolsters are nice and firm. Let me show you the driver's seat as well. Here's most of the wear. Bolster. This is where it's a little worse. Like, if I don't really do anything about it, we're already starting to see little cracks forming. So, um, yeah, it's gonna get a lot worse. So what I wanted to do is just soften up the leather again, like I keep saying a hundred times, and this dash as well, since it's the all leather. So mainly all this, just wanted to get it a little softer, prevent it from, you know, anything happening and cracking maybe in the future. All right, so that's pretty much it. Not gonna do any further talking. So what I'm gonna do is probably attack the first stuff of the interior with the carpet. So take them out, shampoo them, clean up the leather, and then start conditioning with that cannoli hide care. I guess it's gonna be like a review video as well because I don't really see anybody using this product. So I don't know, give you guys a review and see how we like it because I think it's about 20, 30 bucks for this thing. Not too cheap, not I guess too expensive, but I mean, if it doesn't work, might as well not even use it. So. That's that. Without further ado, let's hop into this thing and see you in a couple hours.
Alright guys, so last week I pretty much couldn't um, finish the whole car inside, maybe did 90%. The sun was going down so it was kind of pointless because it was getting cold. But um, it's been about a week and maybe you want to show them inside how it looks I guess. And honestly, just by already driving this car a week inside with this conditioner or rejuvenator or whatever it is, the seats are softer, everything is staying black much longer. I'll give you the final picture so you guys can see for yourselves, but for now, let me open the back. I still gotta apply it on the rear seats, but for the most part, it's not bad. And I honestly thought this would be like a comparison video with the Lexol conditioner. But I'm going to scratch that out. It's just going to be like kind of like a review or whatever and I me applying it inside of this car because um, what is this one? The Hide Care, Cannoli Hide Care. It's actually doing a very good job. I don't even want to compare it to the Lexol. The Lexol, after you put it on like right here, within a day or two, you'd see like white residue. And um, I kind of don't like that. And it doesn't even last as long as this. It would maybe last not even a week and that would be it. So that's that. I'm going to just do one more final coat and give you guys the final results and how I feel about it. So stay tuned. All right. So right quick, let me just show you how to apply this or how I found myself the easier way. So get your cannoli hide care. Um, before I try to use just like a rag or something, a microfiber and apply it. But the microfiber was actually soaking way too much of this and kind of, you know, you're wasting some of this and it just didn't rub it in that well into the leather. The next thing I tried was kind of grabbing it and then doing it with my finger or hand but that took too long and then by the time it goes into the leather, same thing, just taking too long. So right now it's nice and sunny outside so that's good. The leather likes that so it takes it in a little better so just apply it as so. Get your little applicator like this and just start applying it slowly, rubbing it in. As you can see, this is how it looks. It's a really thick material. It's not really watery. And I think that's the reason it does so well. So I'm just gonna do this one more coat along all the leather parts in this car since it is an all leather interior. Probably take me another hour or so and then I'll give you the result. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm done wiping all the excess material. Let's give you a quick look with the video. I know the camera's not gonna do justice, but honestly it looks a hundred times better. And the leather is kind of like, you know, has its leather-like feeling. It's back in its overall best condition I think it could be. Maybe it could be a little better, but honestly, it's pretty good. The steering wheel I didn't touch at all because my airbag, as you could see, it's not aligned. And I got this little paper right there, so the airbag is not wobbling when I'm driving. It doesn't randomly honk at people. I know pretty janky, but we'll get to that eventually. Do not worry. Here we have the driver's rear. My goodness, looks so much better, but honestly, it feels much better too. So all these common areas where leather decides to get hard, it's nice and soft again. This right over here again, as well, another common problem. If it's not conditioned, this will get hard, this leather, and then this will decide to separate. Another, I guess, common thing since I'm starting this right over here by the trim pieces and by this door latch right over here these cracks decide to form so make sure you guys condition your leather here's the passenger's rear again i wasn't worried about my panels my door panels as you could see they're all nice but i was starting to worry about my headrests in the back you know they're becoming hard this area was becoming just crusty looking this area was a little bit looking worn out and then this, if you guys remember, I was touching it. It felt like cardboard. Now it feels like leather again. <laughs> so let's go ahead and finish up on this side. Panel is looking nice. Dashboard again is the all leather package. So that's the honestly main thing I'm worried about. And with this one, it's looking really good with this cannoli hide care. It's looking rich again. 
everything is nice and this right here where your arm might go once in a while look at that looking so clean and fresh so there you guys have it i'm gonna have some before and after pictures right about now <laughs> And there it is. That's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. A little bit of some some for you guys. Some content with this E39. Now, I mean, the interior is so clean. It feels really nice. Leather is feeling rich again. And just kind of, you know, how I like it. And hopefully prevent cracks in the near future or future. So that's pretty much it. I used Lexol before and I didn't like the result. Because honestly, it just wore out within a couple of days. And then you had white residue everywhere. That's why I decided to not really do a comparison. There's no point. This product is actually doing a very good job. The Cannoli Hide Care. And maybe let me show you how much product is left. How much I used. So there you have it. So I don't know if you could tell. Cannoli Hide Care. About half the stuff is gone. Got to remember I did two kind of passes on it. Two coats. But that's that. I don't know if anybody's going to use this on their car. But if you do, I guess I'm tips for you make sure it's a little warm so what i did it's november but we are in california um, i closed the doors and let the car sit in the sun for a little bit let the weather kind of get into the leather and warm it up so that's what i did and then i started applying it so that's a you know a must if it's too cold you're gonna have a tough time applying it and you won't like the product at all so that's that and then once you get to the areas, I mean, the way to apply it, the best way to do is with some kind of applicator, like a sponge or something, and then maybe use a couple of those. I don't recommend using a microfiber because it kind of absorbs it too much, and then the microfiber is all sticky, and it just makes the job a little more messy. And those hard-to-reach areas, I kind of just applied on my hands, my fingers, and went into those areas and rubbed it into the leather, the cannoli hide care. So... Closed it up once it was all, you know, every single piece of leather, as you could see, <laughs> there's a lot in this car. Um, closed the doors, let the car sit in the sun for a couple hours, let the leather absorb all the material, and then came and did the final wipe down. So I started wiping it down, and I noticed, I was like, man, this is going to take forever. It's kind of sticky, you know, taking forever to come off the excess stuff. So I was like, do 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 just turn on the heater, seat warmers, if you have this problem. Again, if it's kind of too cold outside, that's what you'd want to do. And um, after that, it was no problems, no issues whatsoever. Everything came off smooth. And now, you, as you could see, I mean, happy camper down here. So obviously, I just applied it, maybe drove like before applying the second coat. I drove for a week and I already liked the results. I applied another coat and I'm liking the results even more. But I'm going to end the video here. And um, you guys could catch me on Instagram. Same thing, Four Wheel Fun Bros. And maybe down there in the future, I'll give you guys an update of how the interior is holding up. Maybe a month, two months, whatever later. And you guys could see it for yourself. But that's pretty much it. If you guys like this product or want to use it on your car, I'll have a link in the description below. You guys could check them out. I'm not sponsored by them, but do I recommend using this product? Yes, I do. Especially if you have full leather or real leather inside of your car. If you have a synthetic type of leather, don't use this product. There's other things you could use that are going to be better for it because nowadays manufacturers they kind of have a synthetic type of leather and i don't know if it's because of the animals or you know environment or maybe the cost of you know the leather but that's what mainly everybody's leaning towards but that's pretty much it stay tuned subscribe give us a thumbs up it helps your boy out and stay tuned for the next video the next video is probably going to be me polishing the whole outside removing the trim pieces getting them all oem finished look and getting the fender liners on but not last but not least i'm gonna be finally installing this bad boy well my wife will because i promised her that she will slap it on once this car is going to be completed so that's that take care for fun bros is out